Howdy folks, Jay Boone down here at Emerald City Guitars in downtown Seattle on a lovely summer's day. And man, we're in the middle of a, like a series of burst videos where we dug all the bursts and a couple other very special Gibson guitars out of the vault for a day to do uh, some features on them. And today, man, I've got a wonderful original 1960 Gibson Les Paul Standard. So this guy here, weighs in at nine pounds, and it is an early 1960. Got the specs from a 1959. It's got the chunky 59 neck profile and the earlier 60s finish that they were using before they went to the, a different mixture of finish and they don't fade like the, the 59s. So you can see this one's faded into a beautiful honey burst. You can see that two-piece maple top there. Just a wonderful carve on that top, man. And as I turn it in the light, there's a lot of flame jumping out at me. Just a wonderful <laughs> faded top on this beauty here, man. Flip it over. You can see in really great condition that mahogany back and the back of that neck. Really beautiful mahogany. Wonderful finish on that. It's been kept in really nice condition. This guitar's got a really cool story with it. It came out of Copenhagen, Denmark, and it belonged to a guy out there who played in a band called Benzins Railroad, and he owned this guitar since 1969. And a few years ago, parted with it and sold it to a very high-profile player down in LA who we all know and love. And it ended up in our shop, and we are super excited to have it in here, among our other bursts. You can see, some cool original photos of the band Benzons Railroad. There's a couple pieces in there of this guy playing this guitar, and they look like a really cool power trio. He had taken the covers off of this to expose the double white PAFs, and the original covers are right here. So if one did want to put them back on, they could do that easily enough. The pickups have never been rewound. They're beautiful, untouched, double white PAFs that sound amazing, very well balanced, high output PAFs. So the neck pickup is 8.13K and the bridge pickup is 8.33K. So they're really evenly balanced and they sound great. They're really fat, full sounding, exactly what you want to hear in a vintage PAF pickup. This guitar is for the most part in all original condition, right down to the frets and the nut. There are a couple bits of plastic that have been changed out on this. Most notably, the jack plate. You have a repro jack plate there. However, I do have the original jack plate right here in a little plastic bag. And then what we call the poker chip up here in the selector switch, the surround there. That's a repro part there too. And we do have one here, the original owner, had manufactured himself, so obviously he had probably broken the, the other one. This one was made by hand many years ago, but it's not quite as appealing as that cool looking repro there. That looks very authentic. A wonderful Brazilian rosewood fretboard on this. And you can see those trapezoid inlays are in great shape. Nothing shrinking, no cracks or holes around them. Just really intact, as is the binding on this guitar. The only other thing of note here is, although we have the original tuners on here, these buttons only are repro buttons that look really great on there, and they fit really nicely on those original tuning gears. The original frets are in fabulous condition. I mean, this guy played this guitar, but I don't know, man. There, there's enough fret left there to do another level and crown, and there, it plays absolutely wonderful as you're gonna find out when Aaron Hebert does a little demo to this matchless King Cobra, a powerhouse of an amp at 35 watts and two 12 inch speakers. And you're gonna get the, the full onslaught of the power and glory of this matchless amp with this original early 60s burst. God, this is everything you want in a burst, man. It's, it's, the playability is fantastic. The pickups sound great. It's all there for all intents and purposes. A couple bits of plastic, nothing else has been compromised. Just a great investment and a great player for anybody that wants to own one of these beauties. I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna let Aaron Hebert work his magic on this combination right here.
So there you have it, folks. My pick of the day, a very special early 1960 Gibson Les Paul standard through the amazing Matchless King Cobra amplifier. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time.